All right. I just have to say this. First of all, Fallout 76 looks good. It looks good. Okay. There was the last four times I tried to play this game with little mama. I'd get this pressure in my forehead and I'd start getting like my eyes would hurt and then I'd start getting a headache because of the like the the lack of care of presentation like it was it it was hard to look at for me this new update has got this game looking good it looks good and that makes it easier for me to play it but okay so the reason why I'm covering this this is little mama's game like she loves this game and i'm i'm happy about that okay i'm genuinely happy about how much little mama loves this game because back when we first started playing games together i learned red dead online for her and i mastered it so we could play it together and in return she had to learn how to play a new game and I chose Fallout 76 because it's Fallout, and that's where I'm coming from. I'm coming from the Fallout sort of gaming side of role-playing. So I got her into this. At first, she fought it. She wasn't sure she was going to like it. And, like, we was level 2 players straight out of the vault, like, <laughs> scared. Because <laughs> everything could kill us, right? And we struggled, and we clawed, and we worked our way into a comfortable rhythm in the game and she came to love fallout for that i'm happy because i pulled her away from rockstar's clutches and uh because and, and because of her love of this game i always revisit it and this game is it looks good y'all this this game looks good i don't have fallout first i don't fool with that i used to have fallout first you know, because, I mean, honestly, for us, the game only costs like $6 a pop. You know, we didn't buy it straight out of the gate. Y you guys know how I don't, I do not buy online all the time games straight out of the gate. But we picked this up for $6. I did do Fallout First for a little bit. Little Mama still has Fallout First. But let me, let me show you something. Uh, this is, this is something exceptional. You load in. This looks good. All right, the, don't don't judge me for my camp. Little mama built this for me. She, when she was here over Christmas time, uh, you know, she's like, she's like, well, what do you want me to do? Cause this was like the only like she was borrowing my my PlayStation when I wasn't on it, and I told her I said, well, just rebuild me a new camp go crazy and boy did she ever like yeah like this is <laughs> this is how crazy camp building can get in this game <laughs> and boy did she she took total advantage of the lack of physics in this game and built me what she feels like is a better camp <laughs> but here we are so yeah like uh first of all it's a little disorienting because I have to hit D-pad for... D-pad is for map now. Options is now for... First person, which is how I play every Fallout game. But yeah, this, this looks so... Like, this is so much more stable. And it feels so much better than it ever has before. Like, this looks, this looks good. And it feels good. Uh, like, I've got 1,300 hours invested in this game. And I have been watching meticulously every update. How does it improve the game? How does it ruin the game? And this is by far one of the best updates. This has got me hopeful for the Fallout uh, 4 performance patch that's coming so I mean if they can do this with Fallout 76 you better believe Fallout 4 is going to be awesome in terms of like like visual like the visual stuff like 
You know what I mean? Like, this is good. Like, my eyes have not hurt one time. I have not, like, felt, like, a hard pull on my eyeballs since I started playing this with the new patch. Like, this is good. This is very good, guys. And that doesn't even cover, like, like, they're talking about, like, the new additions with the, the, what is it, the Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Caravan? They're, they're adding, like, new stuff with the, uh, with the Caravan Company in, uh, Appalachia. And that's brilliant because they need to. See my like you see that yeah, okay so yeah this is my character but yeah I mean they've they've done so much guys like they really have like this is fantastic this game has never looked this good it's never felt this good to play Yeah, this is the first patch where I feel like they've actually taken advantage of PS5's capabilities. And this is that this is good. Like, you know. So I'm doing this for little mama. Cause again, this is her game. And uh this is a huge, huge facelift for this experience. I'm more like I do love, like, New Vegas is always my favorite Fallout game, but, you know, I, I accept Fallout 4, like, I feel like Fallout 4 is a lot better than people give it credit for, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if they can make Fallout 76 look this good, I can't wait to see the, uh, the per performance improvements for Fallout 4. Yeah, this feels experimental. Um, so they're, they're definitely doing something and you can expect to see this, this kind of, uh, performance for Fallout 4, if not like better, like, I think it's going to like, I think Fallout 4 is going to look even better because it's not on a server, right? It's not on a server. But yeah, so you're like, oh, and that you're talking about Fallout 76, and it's, it's terrible, it's a terrible game. It was a terrible game. It's not a terrible game anymore. And y you see, did you see that right there? Like, again, the game's not, like, it's got its problems, but believe me, I've been staring at this game for like 1,300 hours, so, like, even that doesn't bother me. Because I'm thinking to myself, if they can do this, if they can make, if they can make Fallout 76 look this good... In spite of the server, I can only imagine how amazing Fallout 4 is going to look when it comes out. Alright. I don't know how many people was talking about the uh, performance enhancement of 76 before this patch launched. They was mostly talking about, like, the different things you can do in the game. Like, the different quests they've added. And, of course, they, like, this werewolf creature they've added to the game, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, I, to my surprise, this game got, it got a facelift along with this patch and it looks good. Like it feels good. Things like textures are loading in smoother than they ever have before in this game. Still not perfect. Like, you see, like, you see the line. You see the line. <laughs> it's like, I'm chasing the yellow line. Uh, always, that's always been a thing in this game. But, yeah, this, this gives me hope for Fallout 4. And what kind of improvements. Absolutely. What's going on? What's up, buddy? Huh? What's up? What are you doing? Have a great day. 
Huh? You pointing to have a great day? Okay. Huh? I don't know. What's up, Clint? What level is he? Where are you going? I want to come in. Can I not come in? Alright. Hey, I got something for you. Um, I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to drop this. And, um, oh crap. I didn't, um, stem packs. We'll just go ahead and drop some stem packs too. And we'll go ahead and drop that. Where'd you go, Clint? Where'd you go? Come here. There you go, bud. There you go. Alright, good deal. And that's another thing, like, 76, like, I'm not really a big online person. You know, I, I don't like always online games. You know how I feel about co-oping always online games and stuff like that. You know, I'm not crazy about that. But yeah, the Fallout 76 community, in my opinion, is it's one of the best gaming communities online. Like, Everybody's generous with each other. Like, yeah. Because this is a hard world. Like, 76 is... There's no walk in the park here, right? There's no walk in the park here. You know? People look out for each other. They care about each other in this game. And that's cool. That's very cool. So, yeah. I, I give it props for that. Like, it's cultivated, like, a very awesome community of, of players and uh, yeah it makes it kind of makes me proud to be a part of that community sometimes uh, but yes if you're I mean if, if you've struggled with Fallout 76 in the past uh, and if there's just nothing to do for you and you're not really sure like what 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 more could you do I would recommend coming back to the game because there is a lot more to do in this game uh, since they added the, the Nuka world. Like, Expeditions was... Expeditions was nothing to write home about. I mean, the pit is a crap hole. It's not fun to explore. Uh, we'll be revisiting the pit Expeditions probably tomorrow and the next night. Um, it's less of a chore to get to the pit now, which is good, because the pit is crap. It's crappy, it's not visually appealing, it's, combat-wise, it's not fun. Who launched a nuke? Let's, we gotta check that out. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, okay, down there. Always in the cranberry bog, okay. Uh, Nuka World was kind of cool. Nuclear strike imminent. I, but it wasn't enough Please to make me interested. At your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. But the caravan, the, the caravan missions might be enough to keep me more invested in this game. And again, like this game looks good. Alright. It's never looked this good still got its problems and this gives me hope for fallout 4 like if they can get this don't tell little mama said this if they can get this piece of shit game to work and look this good on a ps5 i think P i think fallout 4 is going to be really good it's going to be worth revisiting i mean i haven't played fallout 4 because i'm waiting for the update that's going to take advantage of the PS5's capabilities and seeing this gives me hope for PS like 
Fallout 4. Like, I'm waiting. Really waiting. Uh, and, okay, so Starfield... A lot of people are bubbling about with Starfield. You know, uh, it it did look good, but I, I don't think it's, it's going to go over as well as people hope it does. I think... Uh, I think it's going to be, I'm not going to say a walking simulator, but I think it's going to come down to, after, after you get to your 250th planet, you know, and you find an abandoned mine or an abandoned science lab, you have to clear out bandits from that science lab the 250th time, I think you're going to get kind of bored with it. Tough to say, but I will say this much. Everybody's talking about spaceship freaking customization in that game. And Uncle Todd is probably super happy that you guys are excited about that because yeah, let's let's have a look at this. Okay. The atomic shop? Yeah? Huh? Imagine this. Imagine the atomic shop. But for space, okay, all right, the atomic shop is waiting. Well, Starfield's atomic shop is waiting for you, okay? <laughs> yeah, look at all this stuff. And, of course, the atoms. Yeah, yeah, you see? You see? Huh? You see? I didn't do Copper Squat. Copper Squatter? Okay, so that's still a problem with this game. Yeah, sometimes you get credit for missions you didn't even do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright. But, yeah, like I said, like, yeah. Yeah, if you think, like, the Atomic Shop, like, they're gonna have a Starfield version of it, and there's gonna be, like, some really great upgrades. Really great upgrades. Oh. Nuke just went off over here. Yep. Yeah, you could you heard it. This right here is what just went off. You could hear it all the way from here. Yep. But yeah, um, I think Starfield's another Bethesda game. It's just it's gonna be another Bethesda game, and some people are gonna love it, and they're not gonna be able to get enough of it. And other people are going to play it for a little bit, and they're going to be like, uh, it's just another Bethesda game. That's not a bad thing, and it's, it's, not, it's not a great game, you know? Me, personally, I'm looking forward to Baldur's Gate 3. I've spent some time revisiting Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. And just, you know, really, really getting, getting excited, you know? Because uh, I can't wait to return to the world of Baldur's Gate. It's been a long time. I'm going to feel like an absolute noob. I just know it. So, But anyway, yes. Fallout 76 is a fantastic... It's, they, they didn't just add new stuff to do in the game. It's this awesome facelift, man. Awesome facelift. This looks good. It's easy to look at. It's not hard on the eyes like it was for me before. It's good, but you can tell, like, you could tell it's, you know, it's, it's a Bethesda game, right? <laughs> so, but this does, this looks good. Uh, it feels like they kind of, there was a, it feels like there's a slight tweak in, um, you know, shooting weapons combat, uh, to make it, feel even better and also they've added new things to do in the game so that's good yeah Fallout 76 looks good feels good and it gives me hope for Fallout 4 I cannot wait to get back to Fallout 4 I actually enjoy that game I don't I don't hate Fallout 4 Preston Garvey, as much as he annoys me, that's still not enough to make me hate the game. I, I really enjoy Fallout 4. I don't enjoy it as much as I did Fallout 76 or Fallout New Vegas 
Fallout New Vegas I enjoyed a lot more, but I kind of feel like Fallout 4 has got enough to keep me invested and make me interested in the world and, you know, just going off and doing stuff. I, I'm into that. I'm cool with it. I'm looking forward to getting back to Fallout 4. I've kind of missed it. I know it sounds terrible. I missed Fallout 4. Uh, but yeah, the 76 update has got me incredibly hopeful for uh, what they've got in store for us with Fallout 4 in terms of using the, the PlayStation 5's capabilities. So yeah, I'm every, like a lot of people are excited for Starfield and I'm just over here excited for, uh, for the update for Fallout 4 so that way I can get back to playing that. <laughs> So anyway, that is the news on the hour. In honor of little mama, my darling, my love, this is, uh, this is an update on Fallout 76. You all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will catch you on the flip side.